Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, unfortunately, as with many things, um, things aren't as good as they used to be. Now I have my original Harbor Freight grinder that I bought for $9.99 probably over 10 years ago. I just again, after the second time of doing the bearings on my, uh, I think it's called Buffalo, I did some videos, it's in videos, it's a red version, uh, and it's basically, it was on the side of the road tent cell. That one just kind of gave up the ghost again, the bearings on it, but I'm hoping I can fix it. And unfortunately, this one is starting to make a little bit more noise than I like, and it's fairly new. And this one has decided it hasn't completely given up but if I run it much longer it's gonna give up uh, something in there is really mangled but this one I believe is in the 30-day range I gotta go find the receipt for it and I'm gonna take it back and this one I'm gonna go ahead and open up and see if we can throw some grease in it or if we can do something to make it last a little longer and when I'm doing that, I went ahead and picked up another one, so I had another one, and I didn't feel like dealing with this one right now. Um, so I grabbed this one, and I'm going to go ahead and just open it up right off the bat and see how that one compares to well, this one, first of you can all. see in there, it's just kind of some Vaseline consistency goop, and there's almost nothing on the teeth here. You can see that? And nothing on gear here, so it obviously doesn't stay where it should, but I don't know if there's anything I can do uh, to make that any better. As far as this, does seem to be a lot of play in this right here. I don't know if that's... There's quite a bit of movement in that gear as well wow that comes completely off of there i don't know is it supposed to do that so i'm going to clean this goop out of here um looks like there's a uh, clip on here that we should be able to get a hold of and maybe pull some of this further apart and i'm going to look and see if there's supposed to be it looks like one on here too, but there's not. Well, so. YouTube, I took the snap ring off there. I got the snap ring pliers. And uh, this comes apart right here. And it's got a key way here. A uh, little bit of a keeper that I need to take off. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. And that allows that to come out. And then this is a little bit week in there so i'm gonna look and see if we can rebuild this uh or repack anyway this bearing that's in the front here and then i started tearing and this then... apart here and i ended the four screws here and went to pull it out and it pretty well is stuck and then i realized there's a screw back here so i pulled that out and kind of looked at this and you can tell there's kind of a cap here and a gap here so I just kind of started gingerly pulling and this actually pops off here and I don't know if there's a whole lot so if you had to replace your cord this would be the place to do it and actually it's a very easy cord to replace even down to you just got a couple screws here here's your switch right here that goes in and pushes the button on the bottom down here here's your uh, why can't I think of the name of them? And I knew as soon as I turned off the uh, camera that the name would come to me. It's the brushes here. So that's where you'd pull those out and replace them. And actually, these don't look bad at all. So I'm not going to mess with them. But that's why I can't get this driver to come out. This is what happened on the other side. Took the screwdriver. Kind of started pulling up on that and push in on it and pull it out and that one looks worse than this one but not by a whole lot so and probably should mark which one goes where but honestly i'm not worrying about it this thing was 9.99 i can buy one all the time for 9.99 and i still think it's worth it even if you have to pull things apart 
to deal with it. So there it is right there in all its glory. Yeah. There's a, it's a little tiny bearing. It is sealed, but I will probably clean it up and put some T9 bow shield down in there, try and get it in there best I can. My biggest worry is this right here, the that, I don't know if you can see it, but that moving around in there like that, I think there's supposed to be some, in fact there's a keeper right there that just fell out. Here. That magnetized screwdriver here. There's that. It's very similar to the one that was on the gearing. I'll stick that down here and keep them separated. Yeah, there's definitely a groove right here. I know you probably can't see that, but there's definitely a groove right there that my screwdriver, you can hear it going back and forth. There should be another clip in there that's not. I don't know if it broke and fell out, but I'm not seeing any clip. I'm not seeing particles, like metal particles. But I may see if I can find a clip that I have to stick in there. It's probably something that they realized, oh, if it flops around in there a little bit, it's not going to hurt too much. And I can save a half a cent on each clip type thing. Or whoever put it I together. I think I'm going to wait and hold off on this one. I am actually going to probably put this back down in there. And like I said, just kind of take a little bit of this. That appears to have gone all the way through pretty well. Yeah, I just saw something that I bet would actually work really well. Yeah, no. Well, yeah. If you are a left-handed person who would like this switch on this side, I bet it doesn't matter if it's that side or this side. Uh, but... It looks like you could have that switch on either side if you really wanted to. And I couldn't see why all this wouldn't turn around as well so that this would all line up. This would be the same. So, um, let's see here. Let's see if we could do it. Let's make this a left-handed, a left-handed grinder. So, I'm going to put the brushes in. I'm going to make this a left-handed grinder. So, for all you left-handed people, you just have to pull this off. Pull this out. Turn it, just like I have it. I'm going, and you do need to kind of pull these brushes out. So, I'm going to... Put the brushes back in. I should have kept track better of what direction they were. This will probably make them last a little bit less long because they were not going to be seated as well. Doing this over a pan here yeah. so that if I drop anything it won't really matter. Um, I don't know if that matters what way this goes but I, I'm going to put it the face down the way it came out of here. And they definitely have like a lighter grease in here of course I think I may have actually uh, thrown some uh, grease down in here at some point or some lube the T9 bow shield stuff and I do know on these sealed bearings you can actually on some of them anyway pry this stuff out of here um, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Try and use that stuff till I can't use it no more. But I'm just going to kind of throw this in there. Let that soak in there. Best as I can. 
this stuff, the T9 bow shell, if you don't know a lot about it, uh, waterproof lubricant, um, works pretty well. It's kind of one of those, it, the dust doesn't stick to it as bad. And uh, it seems to get down into places as well that a lot of other lubricants won't. I have, the, I'm going to put actually a little bit of grease underneath this as well. in between this and uh, this just for a little little something that might get squeezed down in between there. I uh, put the keyway in here or the key in the keyway put a little bit of lube in there and just putting this back on it's fairly simple as far as that the thing I do have a problem with is this key wants to turn and fall kind of out so you got to kind of mess with it until you get it just right okay we got that on there actually gonna put some on the teeth here going in here open up in this part here and it looks to me like this one's staying a little better but um, yeah there is no clip on here even though you can tell there should be a clip right there I don't like that I think that is a flaw that they're saving a few pennies on and you know that's gonna right in there poorly and I have a feeling that the gears just aren't meshing as well as they used to as well either as far as the set of the gear teeth oh well I'm gonna lube these up best I can stick them back together and hope they last a little bit longer well I'm not gonna lie otherwise. getting that pin back in there sucks so don't try and pull that out of there unless you uh, really need to because really you can pull all this off without pulling that out um, so I did find this e-clip I could not find a, an actual one that goes with the so um, anyways uh, snap ring that's the that's what I'm looking for every time I turn off the camera it goes Anyhow, I could not find a snap ring that I could put on there version of this. So I'm using this e-clip that I have. I have like several of these. So I'm going to try it out. It fits down in there pretty good. And it doesn't, once I push it down anyways, seems to um, be lower than the teeth on it. And seems to stay fairly well yet again. Um, hopefully that's not something that I'm going to regret later on, but I'm going to try it out on this one. I probably am not going to put one on this new one for now. That way if I do have a problem within a little while, I can take it back pretty easily without feeling guilty. So, But now I need to pack this thing with grease, and yet again I'm just using some wheel bearing grease that I have here. Yeah, my hands need cleaned anyway and I am gonna just pack it on in there and there wasn't a lot in there but I am gonna put more in than was originally in there just for the purposes of hoping that this the tooth between here will stay good and I'm going to turn that several times so hopefully it'll pack the grease down underneath it and it'll, it'll bring it up. This may screw up with screw with the RPMs of it and all kinds of things, who knows. So this is definitely one of those places if you do something I do and you mess up your machine, I'm not responsible. If you don't like the way I'm doing it, 
Don't do it. All right, got the snap ring back on there. I did realize uh, it kind of bent. This is like a one time only or does not a very springy snap ring. So I had to take a pair of pliers and kind of bend them back together here. So yet again, uh, just making do for now. Um, I am going to actually put just a little bit more on here. Just load it up pretty good here. This is more grease is not always better, um, but in this case, I want more than what was in there. I think, my personal opinion, I don't know as it matters what direction this goes. I know that the pointy things have to be on each side, but up or down, I don't know. Let's see. It definitely has its own one way to and go. Put the there. Screws back in here and see if that makes. There we go. I actually did make a little bit of difference making sure this was right so I'm putting the screws back in here first and then I'll put that back on well oh. okay a couple of things some of you eagle-eyed people might have noticed I actually started putting in the screws out of the other one um, these ones actually are uh, coarse teeth screws because they're going into a plastic body here so be careful when you're doing that um, I've turned this it actually feels a little more solid and it's not clunking quite as much when I do that but I can hear thing I'm I'm thinking this bearing might be spinning in here I hope not because that'll just wear the plastic out but anyhow um, we're gonna test this out I'm actually gonna put the new one back together the way it is for now and use it for a while till it's out of warranty and then pull it apart um, and see how well or not well this one works before I start messing with a whole bunch well, more. Well, the battery in my new camera died, so we're working with the old camera here. And uh, we got the newest one. I decided not to mess with other than pulling that top off. I just put it back on and 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 put it back together. That's it. Um, and it's right-handed. So this is the new one. We're going to kind of compare sounds. I haven't tested this at all. I have no idea if it's even going to work anymore now that I've pulled it apart. But this is the new one, basically the way, well, exactly the way it came from the factory minus I did pull that, the, this part of it off and put it back on. But I didn't do anything else to it. I put a brand new stone on it because the thicker stones do seem to make more noise with these. Um, same exact stone brand new on this one this is the one I pulled apart and it's left-handed so we'll find out if that works so we're gonna start with the, the new one that I didn't mess with and see how it sounds hopefully this will come out on this uh, camera I do know this kind of adjusts for noise if it gets too much noise so hopefully you'll be able to at least hear the rattles and things like that uh, I've never even used this one, it's brand new, so really I need to break you this thing need to in break, actually. break in the brushes on these, so I'm probably, I might leave it running for a while and then we'll go to this one. Um, but all in all, first shot, brand new one, right handed, thumb action here, so let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. on the table and see how much it vibrates. I put grease in it. I put the C-clip on that um, thing there. I did check it. It seems to be spinning just fine. That's still got quite a bit of, you know, looseness to it. But if you listen to this, to this this is definitely deadened a little bit more than this one so let's turn it on uh, with the left hand <laughs> I might change that back I don't know if I like this but I'll try it for a while um,
And it seems to actually rattle a little bit more. New one, old one. Honestly, this one sounds a little bit quieter, but not a ton. And it definitely shakes and rattles a little bit more, which that could be the difference in this one just being older and the bearings a little bit more wore out, but all in all i don't know if it made a big improvement it's a i think a little bit quieter but not enough to really matter we'll test this out see if it blows up in a while or if it has any other problems um, you can definitely make a left-handed one out of it just so for you left-handed people out there that uh, want to switch on that side uh, very easy to do this will be upside down when it's sitting like this but otherwise all in all it's exactly the same just switch on this side just by turning the head so anyhow do what you want with this one uh, i'm hoping i can narrow this down to a decent length video because i know this is too long already but i'm going to call it a video this is sam jack of all master none you all have a good one